a background technique and I am using an embossing folder and I have my art crayons from Marabou and I have um, this one is kind of a gold and I have two others here that are like a let's see this says aqua green this one says Genitian, I think, and this one says gold. So I'm going to color on my plate here with the crayons. Just kind of in a random fashion. And before I emboss, I am going to spray this down with some water to activate those colors. So I'm going to get my paper wet, and then I'm also going to get the crayons wet. And I am just using a spray mist with water. And then let's just get a little bit more on there to activate things. And we're going to close this up and I'm going to run this through my um, crossover tube. I'm just going to activate that with a little bit more water. Get it really saturated. And send it through again. Here is our background. All right, so this time I have a plate from Cuddlebug, and I'm going to try this um, with colored background, and I'm just going to use one art crayon, and this is the blue color. And so I'm just going to go over this pattern. I'm going to get both pieces wet, the cardstock and the part I colored on, using a squirt bottle here. And I want to be really generous. So those colors run. Right, 
looking pretty nice. I'm going to hit it with some more water just to activate that color on there and to get it to run. There we are. It's looking pretty nice. I'm going to just pick up some of this blue that's in my hair. Why not? Right. And then I'm going to let that dry. Here is what I experimented with, and I have a few lessons I learned along the way. Um, this one, um, I wasn't completely happy with it, although 
it is a really interesting kind of texture look. Um, and the colored cardstock has nothing to do with um, the end result, but how I actually colored on the plate. And so um, if I can explain this to you, there is a raised design and a set in design. And if you put the crayon on the more smooth surface, then um, that's how you're going to get more color movement. When the first one I did, I put it just on the raised element here, and it had nowhere to travel because as it got wet and um, traveled into this shape, it just stopped because it can't it can't move. So um, you want to work in the debossed side if that makes sense. And I think I'm calling that the correct side. So that's the difference between this and this. So the color traveled more on this piece than it did on this one. So, and then, you know, the back sides, except for this one, um, the back sides are almost just as interesting as the front side. And the gold, crayon has some glitter to it so it doesn't show up in this one very much but it does in some of the other ones so I'll show you that um, this was the very first one I did and I had instant success because this dye had a lot of surface to it that I could color on no matter which side I used um, and this is the one that has the gold that is um, really shimmery and when it mixed with the kind of aqua color it still put shimmer, put a gold shimmer in that kind of green aqua color. And I think this one, I don't know, it, it it's close. I like both of these. Um, it's from the same plate, but um, I like, I do like this one a lot as well as this one. Now, this one I overworked and you can see that the paper is starting to lift a little bit. So once it's completely dry, I will glue some of those pieces down. Um, this one it went through some transformations. It, it was embossed. I colored on the surface of it, sprayed it, tried to get the ink to travel around just on the paper. And I wasn't really happy with it. And the strokes were really noticeable. So I put it back into the plate, colored on the plate, got everything wet, and ran it through um, my crossover two a couple of times, and then this was the result, and I'm, I am very happy with this result because I, I like the striping from the, the random coloring in the background, um, but the color has moved around a whole lot better. Um, I also used white crayon on this one, and it, it ended up, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's looking like a chalky effect or if it's um, actually the paper lifting from being overworked. Um, but it's in the areas that I put the white on the, on the plate, so I'm not exactly sure. And the back of this one is just amazing as well um, because the colors kind of soaked through some and um, there was some color left on the plate and so it picked up some of that. It has a little bit of shine back here too from the gold crayon. So um, there's my experiments. This is what my plate looks like after I'm done and I have to go wash it and clean up. Um, but what a fun experience experiment to make some uh, really different backgrounds, um, either for card making, for collage, for mixed media, for journal work. Um, these are great as they are. You could cut them up. Um, you could die cut into them, whatever you would like to do. But um, yeah, these are nice and I'm glad to have them in my stash and I'm sure I will be working with them soon.